And tonight we're learning more about the allergic reactions linked to those vaccines. A new CDC report suggests these reactions are more likely to occur in certain individuals. This week, healthcare workers begin sitting down to get their second dose of the COVID-19 Pfizer vaccine. Didn't have any kind of allergic reaction. Anaphylaxis is a severe and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. It's known to occur rarely after vaccination. Now when it comes to the COVID-19 shot, a new CDC study is counting more cases. It may be more common than we see typically with other vaccines. In the first week and a half of the vaccine's rollout, researchers detected 21 cases of anaphylaxis after nearly 2 million doses. That's about 11 cases per million, still rare. But on the other hand, the flu shot is more like one case per million. More women than men had a reaction, including rashes, wheezing, and trouble breathing. A small number needed hospitalization. The risk of the virus exceeds the risk of anaphylaxis to me. Dr. Scott Hoffman is a dentist in Menlo Park. The state just granted emergency waivers to dentists to administer COVID-19 vaccines. But the California Dental Association wants their dentists vaccinated first. The California dentists get the vaccine above all. Cases occurred with both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Most were seen in those with a history of allergic reactions to certain foods like nuts or shellfish, some medications or bug bites. People with allergies may have to be a little more careful. Well, most reactions occur within 15 minutes of inoculation. The CDC recommends anyone who gets one be observed for about 15 minutes, but double that if you have an allergy. In the study, those with a reaction were treated with epinephrine or an EpiPen.